Our first post major update is here, which was released much later than usual or very early in the morning, whatever you prefer. It's a small one, but there's still a bunch of things here to talk about. So let's get into it right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24 seven. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars. And there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. In the beginning of the update, they congratulate, spoiler alert, Navi for winning the PGL Copenhagen Major. And with that, the Champion's Autograph Capsule is now available for purchase in the Major Hub. It has the autographs for each member of Navi in paper, glitter, hollow, and gold versions. 50% of the proceeds go to the players and organizations, so you're essentially supporting not just Navi, but everyone with these as well. Also, player signatures look like actual signatures this time, not just Navi's, probably because Valve wanted every player who had anyone help them design their stickers to physically redo them at the major, which was something Sipple was able to confirm. If you're wondering why, the reason is most likely to avoid legal complications from using fonts that have commercial restrictions. So by hand drawing, they can just avoid all of that. But let's move over to the next section of the update and start with the first one. As I predicted in my last video, they fixed several cases of sticky collisions when jumping against surfaces, which is the infamous jump bug that has been trending recently. And it even caused a little spark since the community got a response from Valve saying, we've not been able to reproduce this. Do you have specific repro steps? And do you have custom key bindings that you could share? As you probably would expect from other developers, they're prone to do their own investigations in similar cases, but that's not how Valve operates. Instead, Valve leans heavily on the community to pinpoint and present problems, possibly because just tired of complaints that lack any basis. While you can criticize their approach all you want, the response they give pushed Sardine S to make this post with actual steps on how to reproduce it. So it's most likely thanks to Sardine here that we've got ourselves a fix in the first place. The jump bug seems to almost be completely fixed. Sometimes you do get pushed down, but at least you're not getting stuck anymore. Also, this is a big side bonus. Yes, you can now surf, it is imperfect, but the complete stops are way more rare now, so it seems like a great update outside of just fixing competitive maps. It's also a great example where if you want Valve to fix something, you need to provide reproducible steps. Next up, they fixed, quote, another threading bug that could lead to a frame rate hitch, especially if all CPUs were busy. With this fix, some of you can expect smoother gameplay, and I've already heard from someone who had problems for months that this finally fixed the game for him. However, this isn't meant to be a general performance boost by any means, so don't expect higher FPS after this update. But we probably have Fletcher Dunn to thank for this one specifically. Now we get to the biggest one for this update. Purchased and traded Counter-Strike items will not be visible to other users who view your Steam inventory for 10 days. So when you buy or trade items in CS2, other players can't see these items in your Steam inventory until 10 days have passed. I decided to try it out, so I bought one of the best skins in the game. Then I decided to visit my inventory in Incognito, and I can't see my skin. I can at least see my beautiful silver coin. I can, however, display the skin through Steam's item showcase, and that allows it to be seen by others. But Valve never said anything else else other than Steam inventory in the patch notes, so it makes sense that item showcases are not affected by this change. Now you can still hide your Steam inventory from other users through the privacy settings, so it does make you wonder why this update exists. Is it for scammers, so they won't be able to see your next shiny item in your inventory the moment you get it? There's actually not a clear answer. Now I did this for science, but I opened a case while being on a deathmatch server. Everyone still sees the skin I received. So for the scammers being on the same server, they would still know that I have something. Also this skin that I unboxed did not appear in incognito either, which means that not only purchased or traded skins are affected, but this update also affects skins that you get from cases. Essentially any new items in your Steam inventory will no longer be seen by others for 10 days. Now I've heard a lot of people say that this will only help scammers since after the scam it's not possible to trace the skin in their inventory. While this is true, you can still trace the item through your trade history, which is what Steam support is going to look at anyway. And the scammer won't be able to move the skin away from their account because of the 7 day trade lock, which still hasn't changed. So it really doesn't make a difference. And because of all this, I'm having a tough time understanding the purpose of this update. The only real benefit that I can see is that you will no longer get bothered by scammers or bots actively targeting you once the seven day trade lock is over. This will give you an additional three days to trade your skin to a legitimate person. So in a way, it's a form of added privacy, I suppose. And of course, another benefit is that you can pretend to have nice shiny skins you really don't, and no one can verify it except Valve. 
But the prank is over after three days, so you gotta be quick. What we do see, however, is that this update is affecting sites that uses Steam's API for trading purposes. Most of the well-known sites are affected, some more than others, but ultimately they are all affected to a certain degree. This update could also be the start of something bigger. We'll just have to wait and see. I would love to know your thoughts on this. Comment down below with what you think, and as always, stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.